Hello, my name is Mr. Taylor and I am a natural science instructor here at Roper Mountain Science Center and we are in our ecology lab where we talk about ecosystems but also where we feature wetlands of South Carolina like what you see behind me. Now a wetland is an area of land that gets flooded on a regular basis. It's at or near the water table. And the animals that live in a wetland area have to deal with wet and dry periods. So let's take a look first at this cypress swamp wetland area. Now you can tell if it's a swamp because of the trees, the major vegetation. Uh, swamps have trees, they're forested areas that gets flooded on a regular basis by a nearby river usually and so these animals that live here must have to deal with the dry and wet periods in this wetland and let's look up close at one of the animals that has to deal with the wet and dry periods in a wetland of a swamp first of all the plants also have to deal with the wet areas uh, they need to grow in the wet soils. Uh, this is a part of a root growth from the cypress trees that you see that grow in the wettest, deepest parts of a swamp. And those roots that stick up out of the mud kind of look like a knee, hence the name cypress knees, and they help give it support in the mud. Now looking at an animal that has to deal with the swamp, let's look at this crayfish or crawdad. Now when it gets dry or during a drought, it has to find water. So it will burrow and make a hole down to the water table with its legs. And as it's doing that, it will bring up mud from its digging and it will make like a little chimney or a smokestack atop of its burrow. And that way it can stay inside while it's digging to get down to the water when it gets dry. And it likes to eat, it's an omnivore, so it likes to eat plant material and little animals that might live in the swamp. So looking at the swamp, what animal do you think might like to eat the crayfish? or crawdad. We're going to take a look at another wetland area. Happens to be our most common in our state, but not in our area, is a salt marsh. And you can tell if an area is a marsh because it's dominated by grasses, not trees. And not too many plants can grow in that salt water and flooding waters, but the Spartina grass can, also called salt marsh cord grass. And animals that live here have to be able to deal with the daily tides from the ocean that floods the salt marsh, making a high tide and low tide in the salt marsh. And I wanted to talk about these little fiddler crabs that live in the mud of the salt marsh. Now when it gets flooded, they plug up their burrow with a mud ball where it creates air pockets so they can survive the high floods. And to stay wet, they live and move on the wet mud and live in those burrows to stay wet. And they like to feed on tiny plant and animal material in the mud. So they're another omnivore. We have a male with a big claw, and we have a female. Uh, and they use those claws to get little food in the mud. Now looking at the salt marsh, what predators do you think might like to feed upon the fiddler crabs for food? Remember an ecosystem deals with animals, plants, and their environment. 
I hope when you visit here and see our wetland displays, uh, you can learn more about wetlands in South Carolina.